Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review The Writer. And this is a film which is based off of the true story of a young rodeo rider who has a traumatic head injury and trying to balance getting back into that life or moving on in his life. And this turned out to be a very interesting, complex story that didn't really start out that way for me, and I was just afraid this is going to be one of those Nothing much happens, but is this at least going to be super interesting and engaging and thought-provoking? And it was a lot more of that than I was expecting. And there's some great work by Chloe Zhao, who did the, um, who directed and wrote this film, and has a very deft hand with putting this film together and really getting trying her best to get performances out of these non-actors, which there's a lot. Like, all the main cast are not actors. And, like, the actual people involved in this story. And it's very interesting to see this. And there's actually a very strong lead performance by Brady Jandrew, who is an actual rodeo writer. And this film is basically based off of his life, his story. And he does a really good job. I was really surprised about the powerful performance that he delivers in this. And Nathan Halpern's score, which is very somber, really does a nice job of laying in the emotion throughout this film and underlying all the scenes throughout and really elevating this film and making you feel how you're supposed to be feeling. And the cinematography done by Joshua James Richards and the lighting is gorgeous. It uses natural light from of the sun so perfectly throughout the film. And you really get the sense of this beautiful landscape that our characters live in out in the western United States. And really seeing this picturesque look at this life. And this film is very much filled with that kind of cla balancing that classical classical masculinity of like I'm a cowboy I ride horses I tame wild animals and stuff like that and this lead character this lead role in this film is really trying to balance that and like I don't even want to live if I can't do what I want and stuff like that and really putting this young man in a situation where he has to really think about what's worth living for and is very thought-provoking and brings out a really complex character throughout this film that we get to travel the story with and you really get to see a lot of particular moments and the great visual storytelling in this film is so well done with the camera work and specifically there's a particular thing about him and his hand throughout and how the camera will fixate on his hand and build tension. It's just like, is something going to happen? Because that's the thing. He never knows when that will come. We don't either. And that's the tension. That's the buildup. And there's some moments that are really setting up for what we know and what he knows about where he's supposed to be and re rehabbing his life and resting and him pushing the boundaries of what he's supposed to be doing and at any moment something bad can happen and Zhao does a really good job of building up that tension throughout the film. Now I have to say there are some really awkward performances by his sister and dad because they, I'm pretty sure they're his actual sister and dad and it's just they're not actors and I like how this film is getting some praise for getting great performances out of these non-actors and honestly some of their their performances are definitely not as bad as in the 1517 the Paris not on that level but they're still awkward and not great performances and it is really slow to start and my biggest problem with the story is it floats on it just keeps floating for a while and it gets repetitive in that okay people keep telling him don't do these things he does these things. People keep telling him not to do these things. He does these things. And it just keeps building up a repetition to the point. It's just like, is something going to happen? And then, but the thing is, as the film goes on, and then particular moments are happening that are driving decisions, it starts picking up and gets really engrossing, really engaging. And the second half of this film, I was really 
entrenched and really focused on what's going to happen here and what decision is he going to make and i actually really like this film a lot i recommend it if you can go find it it's a smaller film i'm going to give the writer an a minus